Have you ever been excited to test out a new feature in your app only to hit a roadblock? It can be really frustrating, right? If you're dealing with an empty query result in Android Room with Rx Java, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to tackle this issue together. I totally understand how annoying it is when your database queries don't return the results you expect. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face this challenge when working with databases. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked, how do I handle an empty query result when using Android Room with Rx Java? They shared their DAO method and how they expected the switch empty method to work, but nothing was firing. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this together. So what could be going wrong here? When using Rx Java with Room, if your database is empty, you might expect the switch if empty method to trigger. However, if it's not firing, it could be due to how the flowable is set up or how the subscription is handled. Let's break it down step by step. And don't go anywhere. I've got a crucial tip at the end that will help you avoid this issue in the future. To handle an empty query result in Rx Java with Android Room, the user should first ensure that they are using the correct operators. The switch if empty operator is designed to handle empty results but it needs to be used correctly. Next, the user should modify their query handling to ensure that the switch if empty operator is placed correctly in the chain. This operator should be used after the flowable is created, but before any subscription occurs. Additionally, the user should ensure that they are subscribing to the flowable correctly. The subscribe method should be called after the switch if empty operator to handle both the success and error cases. Finally, the user should test their implementation. They can do this by running the application and checking the logs to see if the empty case is being handled as expected. Did you know? The first version of Android was released in 2008 and it has come a long way since then. Just like Android, debugging can be a journey but we're here to make it easier. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggests that the switch if empty method requires a publisher parameter. The original implementation does not meet this requirement. Instead, you can use flowable.empty with a do on subscribe method to log when the result is empty. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach suggested by a user involves wrapping the query result in a custom class. This class, called query result, holds the data and includes a method to check if the result is empty. The user also provides a method to create a single from the database query. This ensures that you always receive a result, even if it's empty. You can then subscribe to this single and handle the result accordingly. Here's the crucial tip I promised. Always test your database queries with both empty and populated states. This practice can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You should now have a better understanding of how to handle empty query results in Android Room with Rx Java. Remember, testing is key. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips. And don't miss our next video where we dive deeper into Rx Java.